allocation algorithm is the topic for this particular session what is the allocation algorithm let us suppose two processes have arrived they are having say uh, say they are having say p1 and p2 number of pages and there are f number of frames available free at that instant of time then this particular process first process and the second process how they will get their allocation in the computer's memory how many frames are going to get allocated for them so we shall discuss that one at first then we shall discuss some other topics in the same session okay now let me give you one example that will clear your conception let us suppose that is one process so p1 is a process which is having say 10 pages p2 is another process so these are the processes this particular process is having say 127 pages say at this particular time the number of free frames available is 62 so now here we are having 10 pages required to be loaded for p1 127 pages are to be loaded for p2 but we are having only 62 frames free right now available we know that in case of virtual memory we are not supposed to load all the pages at the same time and also there is a lack of free frame here then in that case how this 62 number of free frames should get allocated to p1 and p2 respectively so the calculation can be done in this way it will be done like this say 10 by 10 by 10 plus 127 into 62 that is 10 into 62 by 137 if you go on doing it will be coming around 4 that means 4 frames to process so 10 by so you are taking only the ratio so 10 by 137 into 62 in that ratio 10 by 137 in this particular ratio the 62 frames will be divided so now 4 frames for the process p1 now go for the other one if you do the calculation for the other process it will be uh, 127 by 137 into 62 so you are getting almost equal to 57 frames to the process p2 just go on adding 4 plus 57 you are getting 61 and obviously 61 is lesser than 62 so the frames can get allocated so this is the known as the allocation algorithm in which more than one processes when they will be arriving and we are having limited number of free frames so how the frame will get allocated to them and it can be decided in this way now next topic in this particular session we are going to discuss is known as working set model we are going to discuss the ne next topic that is a working set model this is known as page reference table it is not page reference string it is page reference table because in case of page reference table i can have consecutively i can have the same page numbers but in case of page reference string will be having adjacent page numbers will be always distinct now see what is happening if we consider the addresses referred by a particular process during execution and if you take the respective page numbers that in which the page number with respect to the addresses so let let the page reference table for a particular process execution is 16157777751 and so on now you see if you consider this particular period of time for this particular period of time you can easily guess or you are, you are easily getting this idea that this page references are getting confined within this particular page numbers so that is one two five six seven really you see it is one two five six seven so these are the pages have got referred for multiple number of times in this particular time span but here you see for the for this particular time span you are finding that three and four these two pages have got referred for multiple number of times so during this execution for this particular time span to have minimum number of page faults 
all else we will be having a plan or some technique to minimize our page fault. So, for this particular duration of time, I require 5 frames for this 5 pages. But for this particular duration of time, I should have 2 frames for this 2 pages. During this period of time, I can expect that there will be no page fault. Obviously, that is the session where the transition has taken place. So, if the operating system can do this one very intuitively, very intelligently, then the number of frames which will be allocated to a certain process will not be static, that will be become dynamic. So, for particular time duration, time span, say 5 frames, for this, for this particular time span, say 2 frames. In this way, the things will take place. So, now let me discuss the last two uh, terms, one is the global allocation and the one is the lo local allocation. Whenever a process is, is has faced a page fault, then the new page or the ARCS page has to be brought into the memory. But there is no frame available in between those frames which were allocated to the process, which was allocated to the process. Then what will happen? Then a new frame has to be brought or some page replacement algorithm should be used which will replace the victim page for the new page to be brought in. Good. If the process is initially having 5 frames and if I replace some of the pages from those 5 frames to make a room for the new page to be brought in that is known as the local allocation. But if I take another free frame which was occupied by another process and if I can take that frame to my control in this particular process control, in, in that case that new page which has to be brought, if I can bring that one in that particular frame that is known as the global allocation. That means the new page will be brought in the pre-allocated frames local allocation, the new page has will be will be brought or will be loaded onto a new frame which has taken from another process which was occupied by another process. So, that process has released the particular frame. So, now it has got granted for this particular process and if the new page can be brought there that is known as the global allocation. Here you see initially this particular process was requiring 5 frames. Here this particular process is requiring 2 frames. So, this 3 frames it can leave for the time being and those 3 frames can be allocated to another process to have the global allocation. So, that is why this working set model is very important. Some numerical questions might be coming on this working set model. So, that is why I am sharing this concept because whenever those questions will be coming, if you do not know what is working set model, you cannot, you cannot attempt those questions. I think you got the logic what we have done in the, uh, that is a frame allocation and what is working set model, what is global allocation, what is local allocation. Thanks for watching this video.